Yes, my dear friends, now I give you the practical demonstration of this experiment. Since this is an instrumental experiment, so as I say, first thing what you have to do is you have to on the instrument. This is a conductor meter. Just check this, it's standardized. Okay, before you actually start operating the instrument and you start taking the readings, you need to make sure that the instrument is standardized. So it is standardized. Now you can change the knob as far as the readings are concerned. All right. Now, as the procedure, I have already explained to you in my theoretical session. So, the burette is being filled with 0.05 normal NaOH. I've got 0.05 normal acetic acid, so which I'm going to pepper out 20 cm cube and I'm going to titrate it using phenolphthalein as a indicator. So here we go. This is a 10 ml pipette, so I will be pipetting out twice. So this is the first installment of 10 cm cube. I need to prepare it out once again 10 cm cube. So this is the second and the final installment of 10 cm cube. So total 20 cm cube of acetic acid is being prepared in the conical flask. The burette is already filled with NaOH. Now what are we going to do is two or three drops of phenolphthalein indicator has to be added. Now because phenolphthalein in the acidic medium is not sensitive, so it will remain as well colorless. Now we are going to titrate this against NaOH 0.05 normal. So here we go and we get the reading as 20.3. Okay, so now the next step is we are going to once again prepare out 20 cm cube of acetic acid, this time in a 100 ml standard measurement flask. Alright, so we begin. So this is the first increment of 10 cm cube. And we go for the final increment. So this is 20 cm. Now to this, we are going to add the volume of NaOH which was required for the neutralization of acetic acid. Do you remember my dear friends? Yes, it was 20.3.
So I filled up the burette with NaOH and now into this 20 cm cube of acetic acid I am going to add 20.3 cm cube of NaOH from the burette. Once the addition of any which is done, yes, so this is 20.3 cm cube of NaOH which we had found out while titration. So this is being added into it. So 20.3 of NaOH and 20 ml of acetic acid. Now what we do is, we dilute this to the mark with distilled water. Please hold the standard measuring flask to your eye level. And you are going to add distilled water. And make the final volume to hundred CAQ. So this gives me zero point zero one normal sodium acetate. All right, acetic acid and NaOH. So this will give me zero point zero one normal of sodium acetate. This is 0.01 normal sodium acid as I told you. Now we need to find out the conductance of this particular solution and we need to note it out. What we do is, we are going to take two beakers. In one of the beaker, I am going to take 5 cm cube of ethyl acetate. Okay, 5 cm cube of ethyl acetate. To which I am going to add 25 cm cube of water, distilled water I have already measured and kept it in the beaker. So this is beaker number 1. In beaker number 2, I am going to take 20 ml of NaOH. This also I measured and I have already kept it. Into which the measured volume that is 50 cm cube of water is being added. So in this way I got two beakers. One beaker of ethyl acid, the other beaker and that is going to be of NaOH. I am going to mix the contents of both the beaker and as soon as I am going to add the contents of both the beakers, I am going to note down the time. Right now it's quarter to five, 4.45. So this is the time of mixing. Now at intervals of five minutes, I am going to take the reading over here making use of a conductor meter this is the cell okay conductivity cell we can call it as i just immerse it and at every five minutes i am going to note down the reading